Hello, my YouTube friend Pop Comics here, and in today's video, we're gonna open up this giant box from Prize Comics filled with eight slabbed comics. All stuff I bought and whatnot. Now, Bry's What Not Show is super fun to me because he gives away really amazing prizes. He'll do like 10 to even 20 slab giveaways each show, which is all amazing. Sometimes it's his own exclusive, sometimes it's some other stuff. But here you have a chance of getting like a $50, $100 prize 10, 20 times over. So I enjoy his shows just for a chance to try to win it. He does this thing where if you win two giveaways, you go on to this prize wheel where it spins. I think there's like nine spots for a $150 gift card or a $500 cash. And then also he does another prize wheel at the end of the show where each time you buy an item in the show, he puts you on the prize wheel. Same prize wheel. And this show, I magically won. I actually bought an extra three or four slabs that were cheap. Just, I figure I'll buy them just to have a few more entries. And I won at the end. And then I, not only did I win a chance to spin the wheel, but I won the $500 cash. That was pretty amazing. And then the other thing I really like about uh, Bry's comics on whatnot is he's really good at listing his stuff in the app before the show starts. So you can actually see what he's going to be auctioning off that night. So you can go in, you can research what you want, try to figure the price. So actually this night what I did was I picked out the things I wanted the most. I looked up on eBay what they sold for. I looked at Go Collectors to see if I missed any other spots they sold. And I kind of made the price point I wanted to pay. So I think in a couple cases, I paid the full value. A couple other cases, I got a really good price. All right, let's start digging through this box. The comics are packed very well. Each one was in its own uh, bubble envelope. There was extra padding that we pulled out just when I got the package. It was also in one of the CGC boxes that had the piece of cardboard over the top. So very great packaging, very happy with that. First book I bought was Silk Number no. 1, beautiful Jen Bartel cover. Uh, let's see, I think it's a Frankie's exclusive. Yeah, it's a Frankie's exclusive. Love that cover, it's gorgeous. That one I paid $57. It was $48 winning bid, $57 was shipping, so shipping was $9, but that was the first item. The first item is always going to have the higher shipping, and then there's a reduced shipping each additional item. But yeah, that's a gorgeous comic. I do try to collect as much Jen Bartel as I can get for a good price. I think that one I was willing to pay up to $75 for. Okay, the next comic I bought was... Uh, let's see. Something is Killing the Children, number 26. It's the Teeny Onion Foil Edition. I thought it was a really cool looking cover. I just love the way the shininess looks on it. It's a 9.8. My winning bid was $120 plus $4.50, so $124.50. I looked on eBay and I believe one sold for like $187. So I think I got this one for about $50 bucks under market. Amazing. I think it's a store exclusive. Not 100 percent sure. All I know is it's a rare edition. I thought it was an awesome looking cover. So I decided to bid on that guy. Okay, I thought this cover was amazing. So we have Monsters Unleashed number four. It's a Jae Hung Lee variant. I love Jae Hung Lee. I try to collect as many covers as he does as well. It's also a fun Devil Dinosaur Moon Girl cover. I'm a big fan of both characters. Uh, I paid. $182 plus $450 shipping, so $186.50. This one was expensive. Uh, I think on eBay it would have cost me just slightly more, maybe about $200. So I almost paid full value on that, but that's one I really wanted because I do love the artist, and I thought it was a really cool cover, and I think that's a pretty rare cover to get. So I was really happy to get that one. Right, let's scooch that one over here. All right, yeah, this is one I really wanted it, but it had shot up in value when it came out. Or with the news with her in the Black Panther movie, I think this one really went up high. We have Invincible Iron Man number one, the Deagle variant with Ray Ray Williams on the cover. Really beautiful cover. Yeah, this one cost me two thirty seven plus four fifty shipping, so two forty one fifty. I think ah, that's close to the full value. I got it a little bit under market value, I think. But I know at its peak, this issue had hit like four or $500. So I was happy to pick that one up. Thought it was a good price. Okay, and then so those were all the main ones I wanted that he had for sale that night. But then he had a whole bunch of Saga issues, which I love Saga. He originally had the whole Saga set on his website for sale for, oh, something like $2,200, something like that. I was really tempted to buy a whole thing. 
but I decided, you know, I can't really afford it. But then I saw that he was listing them all for auction. So I decided to grab whatever I could get for cheap just to have more entries into the end wheel. My goal was if I could get them for about 40 bucks, I'd get an entry to win something and I'd also get a comic book I wanted for a good price. Okay, we have Saga number 11. This was a, uh, let's see, 9-8. It's a high-grade copy of that. Love Saga, so it was really cool to get a high-grade Saga comic book. That one was 25 bucks, so $29.50 is shipping, so less than 30 bucks. That's actually pretty awesome. For that cheap, I figure it was definitely worth grabbing a couple of these. Okay, we have Saga number 22. I mean, another 9.8, that's awesome. This one I won for $32, so $36.50 was shipping. Still a decent price, not as cheap as that, but still a really good price. This is the first appearance of King Robot, so a little bit more of a key issue in the series. But yeah, really happy to get that one. Okay, next was Saga 23. I kind of wish I bought more of them. I would have loved to have the whole set in 9 8 But this one I won for 14 bucks, so eighteen fifty was shipping. That was a steal of a price. Definitely like under 20 bucks for a 9 8 Saga. I'd buy that all day long. That one is amazing. And then finally, I got Saga number 24. That one was, uh, that one was $32 winning bid, so $36.50. So a little bit more expensive than the others, but overall, I'm thrilled to get a handful of Sagas at 9.8s for super cheap. Really, really cool books. So here we go. Uh, the Wheel of Names. Alrighty, are we good to spin? Yep, good to spin. Good luck, everyone. Thank you for a fun show tonight. Oh, pop hey, fun to play! Pop fun to play! Congrats, congrats, congrats! All right, let's get that second wheel. All right, so here's the second wheel. There's five hundred dollars cash. Where's the five hundred cash? Uh, right there, five hundred dollars cash. And then there's nine spots for $150 store credit. Let's spin it. Good luck, Pop. Oh, no way. No hey! way. Let's go. Ooh, that's a ton of fun. I'm going to put another mega epic comic call right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.